Beryl Danvers here. Well, at least I, until I got caught in an exploding Psyche Magnetron machine. I came out of the blast with an extra lobe in my brain and some pretty awesome superpowers. Going by the name Captain Marvel and wearing a cool costume? I battle evil. Things have gotten pretty weird around here recently. A few unwelcome guests coming out of the woodwork. Oh, what now? Lady wrestlers? You're putting me on. Let's make this brief, Pound Cakes. I've got places to be. So there we were in the park, when my old adversary, Pound Cakes, suddenly shows up out of nowhere. It seemed like Pound Cakes didn't want to play after all. Except I wasn't buying it. Probably just trying to lure me in. Time to look around for a plan B. Got her attention, but I think it's safe to say she still looked pretty mad. We had to act fast. <laughs> Better grab some popcorn, folks. Think it might be showtime. This gal wasn't gonna go down so easy. That tackle attack gave me an idea. Maybe she needed a little charge of her own. Oh, I respawned? Ha! Who knew? Another power to add to this. Now that was an accident just waiting to happen. <laughs> That's when Pound Cakes got really mad. She was on a super rampage and called me out for a one-on-one -on -one wrestling match. I'm no wrestler, but hey, somebody had to shut her up. taken care of. Great! What now? Yon Rog. I should have known he was behind this madness. Looks like he's going to crush my lovely city with a... another city? He can't do that. I've only just got my place how I like it. Come on, Cap. We have to stop that Cree before the Big Apple's only fit for Strudel. Yon Rog delivered his obligatory supervillain speech, and his plan became clear. Pieces of shrapnel from the Psyche Magnetron machine, still in my body, were being used to help power his evil schemes. Yon Rog had used this power to rebrand himself as Magnetron. He planned to rebuild an entire Kree city, dropping it on top of New York.
there was a weird feeling. As if when Magnetron got hurt, I felt it too. Like we were connected, being drained of power every time he reappeared. Without being able to fly, this fight was going to be a whole lot tougher. Pretty glad Cap remembered to bring his souped-up bike along. Speaking of headaches, every time I tried to fly, I got a searing pain in my skull. I'm guessing that was due to Magnetron using my strength to power his. was pretty salty about that bike getting destroyed. I said I could hook him up with a spaceship, but he just gave me that face. Yeah, I knew it wasn't gonna be that easy. Bad guys are all about the theatrics. I was starting to feel like no matter how many of these constructs or bad guys that I got rid of, Magnetron would just go ahead and summon some more. We needed a more permanent fix. This girl knows how to improvise. I don't know how, but somehow the source of my headache is also the source of his power. I need to get away. Break the connection. Only then can he be taken down. The further I get from him, the more I can feel my mind slipping away, losing who I am. My memories. I hope I let the cat out. Excelsior!